What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to sidechain in FL Studio using LFO tool. I've been getting a lot of requests to do this, so I decided to do a video on it. So let's get started. Right now I have just a piano with some basic chords to show you what it's going to sound like once it's being sidechained. So first I'm going to do is open up a MIDI out and send the port to 1. Let's rename it to sidechain. And then you're going to take whatever you're, you want to be sidechained. For instance, I'm using the piano, so I'm going to make sure it's not being tracked on a master and make sure it's being sent to the sidechain. What I might do is I might just make a separator here just to group it the sidechain by itself so it's easier to locate. So I just want to rename this sidechain. Then all you want to do is open up a LFO tool, create whatever shape you want. I'm just going to do a slightly strong sidechain type thing here. Uh, you want to take off the triplet times and the dotted times and the, L and the LFO rate. Next, you want to uh, go to note retrig and turn on envelope. Lastly, you just want to turn the smooth up to about 7 or 8, doesn't really matter. This prevents uh, the little clicking you hear sometimes when you sidechain. Uh, the last thing you're going to do is go to settings and then go down to MIDI and then go to import and just turn it on to 1. So now the LFO tool is being sent to the MIDI out through the import. So now when you add whatever pattern you want, which is something simple, it sounds like this. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll advise making like a template and just saving it so whenever you open up your projects or when you open up a new project, it always saves the template with the sidechain on it. That's what I do a lot most of the time. Pretty simple. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you later.